Back on, back on, Gertie Rude. Back again, a Thursday mood. Well, here I am, I'm back again, Vutuvers. And for a change, I'm going to do the same uh, subject two days running, because I can. And I've been looking into this quite a lot, and I've noticed that a lot of other YouTubers have as well. I did have a lot more things to say yesterday, but basically I'm just a twat. Oh, no, to be fair, I mean, you know, that's putting it politely. Um, she's saying that this dress here is Oscar de la Renta, 5,000 or 6,000 pounds. Lime there. There's no way that is. That's one half of my upstairs bling bathroom curtains that she snaffled. And I can see it as plain as a big fat nose on my big fat face. So don't believe her, it's Oscar de la Renta. Whatever. Um, it's also got a tear in it, which I don't know whether I mentioned yesterday. But it seems like she was somewhere else yesterday. Looking completely different, or no, not yesterday. But whatever day it was she's supposed to have been doing this, she was actually somewhere else, looking a lot different. So I've been starting to think to myself, was this actually an outtake or something they didn't upload to their Megan and Harry documentary for Big Pigs? Do you remember? Because that would make more sense that everybody's going around wearing masks. And the other thing that annoys me, well, let's get on to it and just see what happens first. See what they've got to say. Come Awkward on. Awkward wardrobe malfunction. Awkward. Oscar de la Renta dress. Mm. The Duchess recently paid yes. a visit to a children's hospital in Los Angeles. She's so full of shit. Where she paused for several pictures. Megan looks I think they're the crappy old shoes. They look like a pair you could get for a fiver out of shoe zone. But they cost like three grand or something. <laughs> she literally... There's no... No end to her spending her husband's monies, my darling. Yes, any of them, all of them. Uh, just form an orderly queue, she's not bothered. And I know oh, my cat's bothering me now because I mentioned, yes, the market, darling. Yeah, I know. I know. Does it upset you? Upsets me, upsets the whole world. Anyway, yes, let's get on. She's Oscar de la Renta's silk chiffon landscape uh, With a tear in it. That she previously worn before. With However, a tear in it. Megan's dress appeared to have been ripped. Oh! On the left side near Awkward. The Royal fans were quick to comment on the Duchess oh. wardrobe malfunction, with one social media user writing on X, seriously, wow, embarrassing. Yeah, because the last time she was uh, filmed in it was a couple of years ago, and it had a tear in it then. So, yeah, that's somewhat awkward, isn't it? Yes, it is. It really is. <laughs> I am not a fan of Meghan's behaviour, but I think it is more a zipper problem than a hole. Oh, well. They added, maybe she didn't notice it was not zipped all the way up. What, you zip it under the arm, dear, darling? Because it was too tight. Don't know. The Don't care. It's got a rip in it. was paired with pointed black flat shoes by Aquazura worth £595. I thought it was about three grand. Accessorised her look with a Cartier watch worth over £25,000. Five look how engaged they look, don't they? They look all bored out of their bleeding heads. The only one that seems to be having fun is her because she turns up with a bleeding camera crew. Uh, but that's another thing I've got to say about this as well because it's got on my bleeding wick. Yesterday, I just took the mic. But it's it sort of got to me since. And I'm thinking, not only, like, where are your kids, to be fair, and also, don't you want your kids to have privacy? Oh, yeah, so no one ever gets to see them because they've, they've been tied to privacy. But you rock up with a bleeding, a film crew, and film your little stint, where other people just turn up as, like, Star Wars actors will turn up as Star Wars actors. As it's been well known, Johnny Depp will turn up as Johnny Depp. Maybe the Ninja Turtles would turn up as the Ninja Bleeding Turtles or whatever cartoon characters. I've read about a basketball player that turned up, but the kids knew he was a basketball player because he was famous. Nobody knew this poo spray advertising person. The uh, finest moment was when she was on a Bleeding Hookies uh, suit soap opera that kiddies in uh, California probably have never heard of. Not they, that age group. I would certainly have never watched. Oh my God, this woman... But she's looking face to camera. Look at me, look at me, look at me. So it's wanted to show other people's children off. Yeah, and to make money off the back of other people's children. And ill children again. Yes, it's not the first bleeding time, is it? Anyway, let's go. Been here before. Oh, no. Tennis bracelet, which retails for £4,354. She's such a... During the visit, Megan's I can't say what she is. To the children. Oh, my God. Yeah, yes, you, zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Mark. She always wears this bracelet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what she should be called from now on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
I don't know what she's doing in there. And why did the hospital let her in? She's potentially a health bleed hazard. She's going around hugging and kissing everybody, but she's wearing a mask. Listen, this woman is just a publicity media hoe of the highest order. And just using ill children um, as a prop. I think it was the Sydney twins said that it was the lowest moment. But yeah, possibly. I mean, could you go lower? We've had all Voldy, haven't we? So do you know what I mean? Why not why knock yourself out? But uh, yeah, on the day this was supposedly done, and this supposed, uh, what would you call it? A tableau. She's creating a tableau and inviting us to witness her tableau-ness. Um, but on this day that she was supposedly there, she was in an art gallery with Barry Barrington, looking completely different. So I'd say this old footage, probably taken out of a Netflix documentary that wasn't uploaded. And she's bunged it on there because, do you know what I mean? It's about cancer and, you know, it gives us some sort of credibility under the current zeitgeist, my view to first. Yes, that's what I think. Anyway, oh, you can hear my grandson. He's having such a lot of fun. <laughs> right. 42 year old can be seen greeting 42 42 <laughs> and the other eight years love go on <laughs> oh if you're 42 <laughs> i'm the prime minister right god i just think she's got a damn chick i don't know who she thinks she is look at me literally no credentials she hasn't been in any Marvel comic type movies or anything, has she? She hasn't played some sort of hero in anywhere, anywhere, at any time. Unless she called giving a BJ or 90120 or whatever it was. Yes, might have been. But uh, yeah, she certainly was. Her brother said right at the beginning, you shouldn't ever let her around children. Well, there you go. I rest my case and I'm sure he rests his case as well. Bye bye now, Vu. Wherever you are in the world, have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, or good night. Don't let the big bugs bite. Don't let the buggers get you down. And hopefully, hopefully, all things being equal, we will meet again. One day, we will. We will meet here again on the Vu Vu Tuvers. Bye-bye now.